When I started editing videos about three years ago, the first program that I chose was Premiere Pro. At the time, that was the only program that I had heard of, and really I thought it was the best option. So I was a PC user at the time, decided to download it, and I've been using it ever since. I would say the large majority of people that I know that edit use Adobe Premiere, and they're Mac users, and they've never questioned the program that they use, even myself, until the other day when someone mentioned to me that, hey, you should try Final Cut. I never really had a problem with Premiere until the last couple of months. It's crashing all the time. It started to run slow, and it's really not that efficient for me and for my workflow. So for the last week or so, I've had Final Cut on a 30-day trial from Apple, and really just exploring the program, getting a feel for it, and I've been editing all my projects on it I don't want to give you guys a definite opinion because I haven't been using it for that long, but honestly, it's really made me reconsider how a video editing program should act. That day I filmed a one hour video that's just kind of walked you through Final Cut and just give you different tips and tricks and things like that. And by the end of that video, I decided to actually take a project I was working on, import the media from that, add it to the timeline and just kind of explore the program, try it out and see how far I could push it. Could I edit the video like I was using Premiere or was it gonna take some time? One of the biggest critiques I had with Premiere was that it was constantly a struggle of, hey, there was some reason why it's not opening up. And I'm like, Premiere, please don't give me another problem that I need to go on Google and search how to solve. One of the most impressive things with Final Cut is the fact that when I click on the icon to open up Final Cut, immediately it boots up within several seconds, it's already ready to go, and I'm editing my project. If you go and import media from a card, it'll copy all that to the library for you, create all the folder structures, and do all the work in the back end so you're not having offline media all the time. The magnetic timeline is something that took a little bit of time to get used to, but it's actually, to me, a lot more efficient for what I do. I've got some keybinds that I use in order to drag and drop the footage in, and that has made editing and just sifting footage so fast. A lot of times in Premiere, I'm dealing with proxy files because I can't play back at full resolution 4K footage. Well, when I opened this project, I was assuming the same thing. Hey, I'm gonna need proxy files. I immediately imported the regular 4K footage and it's butter smooth. You can pan through every clip, you can apply effects, and there's no problem whatsoever. Final Cut I found out is actually even rendering in the background to prepare it for export. Now I'm one to get easily distracted and it's if you edit in Premiere, you know that the newer, newer versions of Premiere are constantly crashing. So in Premiere, a lot of times I was dealing with crashes, the spinning wheel of death, I can go on and on by all the different ways I can troubleshoot Premiere. I was constantly dealing with those problems and there was many cases that you'd completely lose your project, but immediately when I started using Final Cut, I realized like, like there is no save button. It's constantly saving your project all the time. So I'm honestly just super impressed that Final Cut is able to offer a better experience and give enough features for me to do my work. Now maybe it can't do everything that Premiere can, but I've yet to reach a point during this week that I've been like, I really wish I had Premiere to do this. I haven't had that yet, and I will keep you guys updated on that, but if you are a Mac user and you're currently on Premiere, please give Final Cut a try. I'm telling you, it will blow you away how much faster it runs, especially if you're on a laptop. Now understand if you have a really beefy computer and Premiere runs perfectly smooth, maybe you have nothing to worry about. But if you're anything like me, constantly editing on the go, you should really consider Final Cut. As always guys, thanks for watching. I'm glad you guys could tune into this episode. It is episode two of 100 in a series that I'm constantly trying to improve my work. So if you guys could give me any critiques, I'd love to hear them in the comments and I will see you in the next video.